All right, I've hit the record button. Start the video, Ozone. Oh, oh, okay. What's up, gamers? Welcome to the Dark Rooms podcast. This is episode 40... 39? There you go. You, you got it. <laughs> episode 39. Out of who knows how many. I am joined with Psychic and Underscore, and we're finally covering Felix the Shark. My Halloween costume! What? Yeah. Your Halloween costume last year. It was great. It was amazing! It was literally just a shark onesie. It was a beautiful shark onesie. Thank you very much. Okay. Where's Inky? Well, uh, Inky... Uh, Inky... That's a good question. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's not a good question. He's at school, because he's not on summer vacation yet. Uh, are we all on summer vacation except for him? Yes. Yep. I, I had yeah. my last exam uh, yesterday. Same it didn't though. feel like yesterday. My last day was um, Tuesday, basically. Uh, I wow. had my physics exam yesterday. Wow. Physics doing psychic. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's um... a stupid joke. <laughs> um... <laughs> anyway. Uh... Today, I think we're going to cover... Two of the Felix the Shark stories. I think we want to do one episode with Inky because Inky, although he hasn't read Felix the Shark yet, he said he wanted to be in the Fast Birth Rights videos, and mm -hmm. we miss him. Yeah. Which which story are we not doing? I think the most the most exciting one is you're the band. Yeah. So I think we saved yes. that one. Dang it! That's the best one. We, yeah, it is the best one, but. We can we we'll get to that next next time. And I, I feel like the scoop and Felix the Shark should go in the same episode because they are similar. Somewhat, yeah. They're they're both about kind of not the same thing, obviously, but they're, they're, they're you, both kind of like they're a similar. mystery. They're similar. Yeah. Felix so. the Shark is generally rudimentary, but um the other one what's it called? Third the, one? The scoop. That the one band. is pretty important. The scoop. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, it was quite funny. hilarious. I thought it was hilarious. Because it's like a meta commentary. Yes, I love meta well, commentary. I've seen a lot of comments on uh, that kind of meta part of it, and a lot of people didn't like it. But we'll get into that. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It was very di Oh, mm. Yeah, okay. Let's get into uh, <laughs> Felix the Shark, I think. Uh, just to remember that these are all scrapped stories, so it's kind of weird with the canonicity. Have we solved any of that, really? Do we know um, how canon these are? I can kind of elaborate on what I think I've learned, but, you know, I can't say for fact. Yeah, because the thing is, there's connections with your other band, but yes. these are scrapped stories, so we have to take that into account. Um, I know we're not... We're not getting into in the band today, so if I had to say something loosely about how canon it is, I'd say that aspects of You're the Band are highly important and may even show up in the main FNAF timeline, but the story itself is not canon. Just aspects yes. from it really are important. Okay. Alright. I think let's get into the first story, Felix the Shark. Does All anyone right. want to... So, this is the one I know the least about. Feel, feel the Shark. It takes place with your everyday sitcom group. We have um, Basic Dude. We got a uh, friend that's girl that doesn't want to be the friend. Uh, we got a uh, friend's brother um, who makes fun of Guy One. You know, your ordinary guy. Then we have the smart one. And then we have the dumb one. You know, it's your, it's your, it's your normal sitcom setup. And it's your all... average dark rooms. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> With underscores girlfriend. <laughs> I'm single. Oh, underscore. I'm so I sorry. I am not getting into that at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. I'm sorry. Anyways, so then we. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> You ain't, okay, you want me to just gloss over that? Do we want to, like, no. No, you're absolutely going to gloss over yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Um, then I was this, is also, laughing. this is also a message to Muffin. Yes, I am single, and I am ready to mingle. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, let's... 
Let's actually continue. Says that that just takes a big old chomp out of the apple. Hey, I'm also single. Say... Any hot ladies watching this? <laughs> okay, let's move on! <laughs> Queen Elizabeth II. You wish. <laughs> anyway, so they're all talking and they and they get on the topic of five nights at Freddy's. I mean I mean just Freddy's, you know, the the restaurant. And they're all talking like, oh I remember that place, it was creepy. And okay, and Dirk was uh, Dirk, so main character's named Dirk. Like, I mean rough go of it if you like your parents name you Dirk. I'm sorry. That's gotta be rough. And right. he's like, Oh yeah, I remember Felix the Shark and everyone's like Lamau, imagine she's trying to spread misinformation on the internet. And then he's like, no, guys, it was real, I swear. And they're like, yeah, do you have proof? He's like, I have a plushie. And they're like, yeah, sure, bud. And see, Dirk, he's weird. He's like, I must prove this is true. He's like your average Twitter user. He must prove that he's right and everyone else is wrong. So then he's like, I'm going to go on an adventure to find Felix the Shark. And he like tells like, oh, yeah. He was in this tube that just went around the entire pizzeria, and he, kids could swim with him, and they were like, that sounds scary and dangerous. He's like, no, it was totally le epic. You were a total gamer if you, you could swim with the shark. It was awesome. And they're like, okay, bud. So he's like, I'm going to leave. So he skips town. He's like, okay, I'm going to find this shark. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, sorry, I had something caught in my throat. <laughs> um... <laughs> This is an animatronic shark, yeah. Yeah, animatronic shark. So he, yes. he goes to this town. I believe it's like, like oh yeah, this town is famous only because of like the serial killer that used to live here. And Probably either New Harmony or, or um, Hurricane then. It was, One of the two. No, no, it was like an actual, I think it was like a real life serial killer. Oh, not William. The not killer, William, like not William. Killer. Yeah. Mm, okay. So <sighs> you want to quickly search for the book and see if you can find it, underscore? Why, Tom? Mm, yeah, I I know the least about Felix the Shark, but I'll I'll give it a I'll give it a skim. Yeah, look, when he talks about like getting to the town, he'll talk about like, oh yeah, it was famous for like this killer or something. Anyway, so he stays. I don't the, think that was a killer. I think it, I could be wrong. It was the the town was famous for something. Are you sure? The they, famous, the... Like, so the creator of Felix the Shark, he his son or daughter, yeah, his no his son, uh, was. Like drowned yeah. essentially, and yeah. then a shark pushed it to shore. Yeah. And then His... Aaron Sanders, the guy who built the the shark, or he built the shark in like memory and stuff. Oh, and then that's how Felix the shark came. So, so I forgot to, to add a little bit of detail. So when when the when the um, ragtag group of, of of adults are talking in the beginning of the story, they talk about this book and how they're like, oh, there's a bunch of hidden details that no and the, no one knows what yeah. they mean, and it's a big puzzle. And turn and so basically Dirk goes there, and for some reason he makes the connection that the book is important to the Felix search. So he starts using the book as clues, and you find out later that um, the author is actually the sister of the boy that drowned, and she like may, she's like in a hospital, and she like hid clues to like lead people to Felix the shark. But anyway, he's like he basically just spends a bunch of time in the town just talking and figuring out where to go. He. Uh, Eventually, like, finds, like, a hidden passage. He goes down to the pizzeria, and he's like, oh, my gosh, I found Le Shark Boy. So I'm going to swim with him. And he's like, oh, I remember as a kid when only the employees could get you out of the tank. But he's like, nah, I'm going to go in there all alone. So he goes in there, and shock of all shocks, Felix is, like, decrepit and scary. And he's like, uh-oh. And then he can't get out. The end. Yay. Yeah. That's an interesting story. I'm still looking for the thing, sorry. So, in also... terms of how we rate this story, how, what do we think of it? Um, it's what definitely a scrapped story. Like, I, I, with all these, I can like see, like, yeah, definitely a scrapped story. But... I think it's it's definitely your average... Your average... Yeah. Uh, your average fast price story. It's average, and because of the fact that it's like, you know, it's the last book. Everything after five or seven really fell off, so it, it, it just it's just mid. Well, yeah. I'd say that six and seven were like the worst, and then eight, nine, ten, eleven were good. I think, yeah, I think there was definitely a down yeah. hill, and then there was an uphill again. But um, in terms of this story, one thing that I did say when I was recording my audiobook is that it felt very uh, dragged out. 
ne especially mm -hmm. near the ending with like the whole mystery it's like you, you don't need this whole oh my gosh i found this oh my gosh i found this yeah you just just go <laughs> it's like yeah i didn't dislike the story at all it just felt dragged out and i think people misunderstood that hey you want to hear something comments. interesting i just found in the book mm -hmm. um it sounds like this this might just be about the research he's doing into Fazbear and where they had establishments and in what towns. But it sounds like the like the area where a handful of towns that had Fazbear entertainment locations were all in one bubble. So if we we might be able to say in the game timeline at least that Fazbear Entertainment never really branched outside of Utah. Like, it stayed in one kind of area-like bubble. I'm going to get the, the book myself real quick, so I'll be gone for like five seconds. Okay. I... I don't know. Because we have, like, Fetch, which is just near the shore. Yeah, you're right. There is Fetch. And Fetch is undeniably canon, so... Mm, I guess. I, Maybe I the, don't know. The, the I, bubble I, is probably where he had just lived around... There's no way the of knowing bubble, this. The bubble is definitely, like, where all of the main stuff happens in the game timeline and stuff. Yeah, I think it's about I do feel seven like it towns or out. so. Yeah, I, I do think it branched out across America. Yeah. but Especially especially in, like, recent stuff, AR and Security Breach. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, hmm. What did we think about the, like, the ending to this? Could it have been done any better, or...? Probably. It's just kind of mid, and it leaves a few things open-ended. It's another Do we have it's any a, it's, idea? It's another one of them with an ambi it's like an ambiguous ending where it doesn't... Ambiguous ending. Does, it's like the eighth story that does it. Mm -hmm. Although I kind of like the thought of, like, Dirk is doomed to, like, just swim for the rest of his life. Like, no other purpose. Until he catches him. <laughs> He's gonna end up like Felix, just like, a body that's been lost to everything. Oh, here it is. The, um, uh, the, 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 I just found it too. Yeah. The town was uh, the birthplace of the infamous outlaw, uh, terrorized the Midwest, uh, Billy the Kid. Not, oh, wait, no, Billy, oh, not, the kid. not Billy the Kid. It, he had been no Billy the Kid. Uh, Floyd Crawberry. Does anybody... Interesting. That, I assume that's a real guy. Well, I live in Utah, so I'm like Googling it. Floyd Crawberry. I don't. I don't know if this is. What's his. What's his crimes though? Um. He'd apparently done some heinous things, so the town tried to create a tourist industry based on him. Uh, yeah. So he has his own roadside inn and water park in the. Terrorize the Midwest in no, the late 1800s. I don't think he's a real person. I don't think he's real. No. He's not real. Um, I. Th I definitely think that would be, a bit weird for them to put a real life thing in so why do we think this was scrapped um um probably because it was kind of drawn out because it was maybe of that. of a selection of stories that were like this it was just the most drawn out mid one that it just kind of got scrapped it's it's kind of like a mystery that you don't really care about that much yeah mm -hmm. also they don't actually end up solving a, a big part of the mystery what i'm wondering is um why is he the only one who uh, remembers Felix the Shark? Nobody else has any memories of this That's thing. That's true. And I, I kind of wish it dug more into that kind of rabbit hole of, like, lost media. <laughs> Underscore his face when you say rabbit hole. <laughs> that, Maybe the uh, freaking rock eyebrow. Oh, my alarm is going off. Can we do one Darkrooms recording where somebody's phone doesn't go off in the middle? <laughs> hey, I need to eat my steak pie. What? All right, go eat your steak pie then. So, yeah, I thought this. I thought the story. It was okay. Um, mm -hmm. Was it worth being delayed for like five months? No. No, probably not. It. It's. Yeah, it's mid. It's mid. I'm much more excited about the scoop. Yes. Also, just there's more to talk about. Mm -hmm. I A feel lot like more. I feel like the story went. I feel like the the order of stories went from like the worst to the next best to the very best. Like the last story in this book is like is one of the best. Um, I'm actually more. I'm more interested in you're the band than the scoop. 
Which is probably why we've delayed it. Yeah. Because it's just so much interesting. Um, mm-hmm. And Felix, it was it was just it was just like this guy going on a treasure hunt, uh, connecting back to a book, and he was like, like, oh my gosh, I figured this out. Walks five steps. Oh my gosh, I figured this out. Walks five steps. Oh my gosh, I, also I figured this out in my audiobook. I'm pretty sure they said yes like ten times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like that. Like, I, I, I normally just listen to Ozan's audiobooks like all the way through. But this one, I just was like, I have to skip ahead. I am so bored right now. <laughs> Wait, did must you have just been boring. What? Did you actually skip ahead? Well, I, I like paused and turned the volume down and then just like read on my own. Oh, fair enough. Just, I was like, I was like yeah. come on, get to someplace interesting, get to something interesting. Again, like, don't take this as me like disliking the story because the, the yeah. premise of it was cool and... You know, you, they tell the backstory of, like, why Felix the Shark exists and stuff. You can but like something while slow. criticizing it. Like, that's a totally fair oh, thing yeah. to do. Like, I yeah. can look at my favorite game and criticize it. And you, Ozone can probably look at FNAF and criticize it. Because, you know, nothing's uh, perfect. Yeah. Security breach, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> FNAF AR, am I right? Wait, is the is the update on PCs yet? Hey, shut up about that. No, it's, yeah, it's only on PlayStation. Oh really? It's not here yet. Dang. No. Welcome to the weekly snoop where we talk about the new FNAF update. Oh my gosh, it's not out yet for us, but shut up. Have you guys seen the people who reviewed uh, Lally's game? Yes, that is the reason I know how to get. The, the oh, early. are you going to do that? I always think about doing that as well. We are Becoming trying. A reviewer. Odds are it is not going to be easy. And I don't oh, know no, if we'll no, be no. able to do it's it. Not. I think a lot of people have the same idea. So basically what we're saying to everybody who's listening is you can like review the 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 the, the, the Tales from the Pizzaplex books early uh, so you can like read the books early and then review it for Scott Cawthon or whatever, but uh, it's not gonna be easy to do. But people have done it and they've read the stories and apparently they're really good. Yeah, I've heard a lot about um, what's coming for Tales of the Peace Bikes and it's super hype. But you do not get the um, the what's the final story the, the epilogue. epilogue. You, you don't get to read the epilogues, but there will be epilogues. Yeah. Um, Psychic, do you know, have, have you seen the news about it? Uh, I have stayed away from spoilers, if that's what you mean. Uh, they're not really spoiled, they haven't spoiled anything for us. But do apparently... They, do, do they not tell you the plot of the story? I thought that's what they were doing. No, not no exactly. they can't spoil anything. Like, like an NDA kind of thing. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I still stay away, I've still stayed away from them, just because, you know. All Lame. I'll say is, uh... Under construction is like the craziest thing mm-hmm. they've ever read. They That's thought they were on drugs when they were reading it. Oh, I love yeah, drugs. I mean, shit. I love stories. <laughs> what kind of drug? There is one kind of drug that you should be doing. Which one is it? Antidepressants. Paracetamol. Chuck. <laughs> oh, Chuck! <laughs> of course. Underscore is a big fan of Chuck. Love Chuck. Oh my gosh. I don't know what Chuck is. Chalk is chalk. There's no better way to put it. What? It's it's just straight up ch- like si- sidewalk chalk. No, no, no. The fine oh, powder chalk. Crap. I think it's yeah, chalk. chalk. Sorry, God. British Your pronunciation accents. error. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I meant well. chalk. Chalk. Is that better? <laughs> is that better? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You've Hello, gone insane everybody. since you ate chalk and lost a girlfriend. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Green apples. Leave me alone. <laughs> what the hell, Ozone? All right, I'm sorry. Underscore. Why? Okay. Let's let's move on. All right. Uh, any other, any final thoughts about Felix the Shark? Nope. All right then. I just want to get onto the scoop. That one's way more exciting. <laughs> um <laughs> all right then. Underscore what? Looks so bored. <laughs> you look so bored right now 
I'm <laughs> not <laughs> bored, okay? You just sat there eating an apple. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I always look like. Okay. So, the scoop. Let me tell- let me give you the scoop on the scoop. I don't uh, get it. There's- There's this girl called Mandy. She's got some handies. Good job, Ozan. I'm proud of you for that one. Uh, I'm I'm trying to find the. Don't the do this. Summary. Where's the summary? Why isn't I, it showing up? Would you like the link to the summary? I have the wiki okay, page. I've, I found it. I found it. So okay, so basically, Mandy, believe it or not, writes fan fiction about Five Nights at Freddy. <laughs> And already you're you're like, what the hell is this story? Because it's like, kind of just blows everything out of the water we, we've ever read in Fast Buff Rides. And honestly, I'm probably, I, I'm I'm sure this is why it was scrapped, right? Because it's so Cause it ridiculous. Like, it broke the fourth wall like fifty times over. There isn't even um, uh, the remnants of a fourth wall anymore. Yeah, they turned it into wow. a closet. It's outside the fort wall. Hey! So, basically, she gets FNAF 3 on her phone, and she decompiles it. Uh, and she finds this new image that no one's ever found, called lookshauntednow.jpg. How mysterious. Uh, but then when she, like, posts about it, like, Guys, I found this image and that nobody else has found. Uh, nobody believes her, essentially. So she's now on this, like, mystery of of finding this place and she sees like a ghost boy and stuff i don't really know how to describe all this because it's Does been a while since i've read it sound familiar yet <laughs> the image um looks like what is it a ghost boy blue shoes uh brown hair something yeah, red, red i don't know shirt, i think yeah she yeah. sees something about a different location that she does not recognize from fnaf yes and then uh, she travels to this town and looks through the town's records, finding that there was a building called Sideshow's Snack Shack, which I mistaken for snack space, but... <laughs> and, uh, and she also then... pulls a, a psychic and inky and meets up with an online friend just to talk about FNAF. Okay. Yeah, which is what we're going to do. We're really sad. Uh, and if I, it turns out that there was this young boy that went missing ages ago because of this purple man uh and yeah it was yeah it's a, this is a great story yeah mm -hmm. it's it, imagine if they turned that one Chuck E. cheese theory from fnaf into a story <laughs> I feel like you oh just yeah left, actually i feel like you just left out a large part of the story oh no i haven't finished i, oh. I like she enters like a storage room in the snacks shack or whatever and then there's like an, a bear animatronic and that the, the ghost is there, and then she looks in the bear animatronic, and oh my gosh, there's Stevie's body, the little boy who was killed all those years ago. And then she mm -hmm. tells the family, and the family are happy with her, and then she's happy, and then uh, she put on her blog what she had done. She went to this place that was connected to FNAF 3, and she was like writing, I have no idea what any of this means, but the only thing I am certain of is, if the creator wanted us to know, I think he would tell us which is like the key line in this entire story. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. And then there's like a nice little ending at the end. The ending is um, the little ghost boy that she helped find the body of knocks on her door. He looks all happy and alive and stuff, but he's still a ghost. And he says, Bobby says hello and then disappears. Bobby Bobby's is her, yeah, her, her dead brother. Her little brother who's been dead a while. Yeah. So really it's like a, a, a nice little heartfelt story. But it's mm -hmm. weird. It's weird. It is weird. It's super meta. I think the idea behind this one was that it is a majorly meta story and it's written by Scott specifically. Yeah. I think this one was written by Scott. I don't know I don't remember where I heard that, but that seems to be the no. vibe. I'm pretty sure you're right. Yeah. Or I don't know. It might have been helped by someone, but Scott definitely had a big hand in this. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. The physical story, I mean, the physical copy of the story credits Scott Cawthon as the author of this story. However, all other copies credit Kelly P 
Hera as the author, with Scott simply having co-written as he did with previous stories. Hmm. Interesting. That's interesting. Hmm. But yeah, I I I like this because uh, of that line that I said. The only thing I am certain of is if the creator wanted us to know, I think he would tell us. I think that's like, yeah. I think we figured that as um, a meta di message directly from Scott, kind of saying, um, probably like. If if I wanted you guys to know all the lore and the secrets, you probably would by now. Of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what, what else, else do we actually have? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, there is some weird things about how something. Uh, I I don't know. We probably shouldn't look into too much about how the creator of FNAF is involved with a real life. Um, somehow murdered child somewhere else out there and uh the purple man actually exists but do you guys even remember why he's called the purple man in this story um i can't remember quite it's because the newspaper accidentally printed um the paper with his or the like the suspect in, in dark ink like really dark ink that that's what it says on the wiki okay that's that's weird. It looks like the kid was suspected to have been kidnapped or gone missing, but when really he did, he, just... all he did I, in the story, you find that all he did was climb into the Freddy, uh, or not the Freddy, the bear animatronic, and accidentally break his neck. Yep. Like a little nerd. So there was no killer. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it was thought that he was kidnapped, but they, that's because they never found the body. He just kind of snuck into the robot and probably broke his neck. No, it just said that, yeah, it just straight up tells you it, he broke his neck. Huh. Okay. Because I thought this was quite, quite a big parallel to, like, say, Andrew. Or, hmm, I don't know. Uh, I don't, I don't think there's any parallel to this story other than... It's a Scott Meta message. I, I don't think. Oh we can no, it definitely films. is. <laughs> is it Scott saying like decompile for F three and you'll find an image called Looks Haunted Now dot JPEG? Has <laughs> anybody done go that? Go to this place and find a dead. Nobody, child. nobody would believe her. Is the thing. Yeah. It's like yeah. There's definitely like a message behind this story. It's. Which is why it was scrapped, I think. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I don't know why your the band was scrapped though. Yeah, the band I was think great. That a lot of what's in there is probably canon, but the like the aspects, the the implications, but the events itself aren't. I actually think your the band was like too close to FNAF. Like, there was a security guard called Mike, there was the whole animatronic band, there was the puppet, there was, like, a shadow for it, like, there was too much going on, maybe? Mm-hmm. Maybe, yeah. Oh, and I remember reading it, and I and it said at the bottom, I was 98% through the book, and we hadn't even got to the part with the puppet yet. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? So, that, like, the last few pages went by quite fast. Yeah, uh, it was all jammed into the last bit. Do we want to talk about your other band? Because I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to talk about the other two stories for the rest of the time. Um, yeah, we could, we, always really we could always revisit it with Inky. Like, there's nothing stopping we, us. We could technically go over some of the little hints and stuff about Tales, but Psychic doesn't want any spoilers. I don't want any spoilers. I'm not really spoilers. Does it look like I care? No. Underscore, you have freedom of speech. Oh my gosh. Don't. Should I do it? I can say mm -hmm. something. I don't want to. Okay. We, if we, Psychic doesn't want it, then we won't. We but. probably can just, like, talk about, um, what's it called? Freaking, um, not Tails, but, uh, you're the band, and, like, if Inky has something to say about it, he can say it whenever he reads it, you know? Oh yeah, of course. Okay. Let's talk about you're the band. 
underscore you're you're very uh passionate about the story why don't you explain what happened love the story okay um okay so what is it i i actually don't remember like the main um names of of many of the character maybe it'd be better if someone else did this actually i'm not up to so, okay to so this. the story is called fazbear king so we got our little lad oh no <laughs> okay <laughs> okay but in all seriousness so uh it follows a mom and her kid uh the mom's name is sylvie uh the kid's name is unimportant um timmy, timmy? is that timmy uh do, 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 do. you're the band timmy yep all right, so it starts off with Timmy, where every kid normally ends up at, at some point in their life, the therapist office. office. And so, Hey, I've never been to the therapist. Me either. Just me, then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> it's, it's like sad humor. <laughs> anyway, so um, Timmy's like, listen. Uh, no, Sylvie's like, listen. Listen, my, my, my youngest, my, my little youngin, he's been acting all, all wacky ever since our party. And so it flashes back, and Timmy's been, like, obsessed with Five Nights at Freddy's. He would probably start a podcast eventually. Well, we don't know. Well, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, not not FNAF. This is another meta hey, story. We right. are Timmy. We, we are Timmy. Anyway, so he's obsessed with Freddy's. We're not Timmy. And Sylvia's like, wow, I don't even remember, remember Freddy's. How did this young kid learn about, like, Freddy's and, like, the murders and stuff? Because and, and... Freddy's has been closed for quite a while at this mm-hmm. point. And, you know, it's, like, the classic thing where kids love, like, horror. They love, like, feeling, like, adult by, like, searching things they shouldn't be searching. Like, 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 like dead kids. Everyone loves dead kids. Anyway, so. Huh? What? Huh? Huh? Anyway, what? so, um, Timmy's like, I want to have a Freddy's-themed birthday party. And so he's like, well, I'm a single mom. My kid wants to... I'm a single lady. I'm a single lady. My kid wants to hold Copyright a party strike. about uh, a restaurant that had a bunch of child murderers. Why not? What could go wrong? So she holds a party, and she also gets him a gift where it's a, it's a Freddy mask. And she's like, well, this is totally epic. And Timmy loves it. So he puts it on... He goes up on the stage and starts singing along to to the Freddy song. That probably probably Showtime. It's Showtime. The Woo! big point here is that um, the mask that she orders, uh, she orders it, and then she was like, "Oh, maybe there'll be there'll be other stuff that he would like from this from this seller." So she goes back onto the website, and the seller has disappeared. Mm-hmm. It's like n- not even on the website. Just like how Underscore just disappeared from the recording. Yeah. Um, anyway, so, after this, Timmy starts acting a little sus, a little weird, a little abnormal, you might say. So, Timmy's like, I, I am one of the dead kids from Freddy's, and Sylvie's like, what the heck is wrong with you, boy? And she's like, uh, he's, and then Timmy starts, like, throwing tantrums, which he never did. He starts being like, I don't want chicken nuggies in the shape of dinosaurs. I want chicken nuggies in the space of airships. And she's like, what? I used to love dinosaur nuggies and hated airships. He's like, well, now I want chicken nuggies with airships. I don't remember which one I, which one. Not, not now I want chicken nuggies. Okay. <laughs> I just want chicken. Anyway, so she's like, I got to take my kid to the therapist. So she takes him to the therapist and, um, and she's like, and she's like, oh, it's like he's a completely different kid. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. How can I foreshadow this anymore? And the therapist's like, just don't. He's trying to dissociate because because he definitely wants to pretend he's a dead kid. So uh, <laughs> just don't don't encourage it. Just just be like, no, you like this. So she's like, well, what do I do? I know. Let me take let me take Timmy to my mom and dad's house. So she so they visit over, and Timmy's acting weird. And Grandma and Grandpa are like, "Whoa, this kid's acting a little sus. What's wrong with him?" And so she like freaks out. <laughs> they, like, they know the terminology "sus." <laughs> yes, because it was on Jeopardy that one time. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what is sus? <laughs> it was. It, it was. <laughs> Kids these days. Anyway, so. She tells her mom and dad what's been going on, and and her mom and dad are like, "Oh, you should have told us. We'll we'll take care of him." Oh, also, there's a stalker at her house. Yeah, so she was like oh, doing yeah. the dishes one day, 
and she like looks up through the like, kitchen sink and there's just a guy standing there like like huh just right out there and she freaks out calls the police and he runs away um but he oh uh anyway <laughs> underscore what's underscore doing looks like he's talking to someone oh Tim Wu. What? <laughs> Why did you have to stop? Because I got, I got, I got distracted. I'm sorry. Okay. Just keep talking. Right, wait, wait. We're we're looking at your camera right now. In the back, mm -hmm. you have a door that leads to an abyss. This one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's literally just black. It's just void. <laughs> he's, gone. he's gone! And he's gone! He's disappeared. He's gone. Alright, so now that he's gone, thank goodness. So it's just me and Ezon. Okay. Welcome to the dark rooms. Anyway, so. Uh, basically. I, I basically, like. They're just at the grandpas and uh, the grandparents, and. Uh, <laughs> underscore just sticking his head up. Literally in a dark room. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's like I keep going. Okay, uh, Ed, Timmy disappears. <laughs> He jumped out the window like an epic gamer. <laughs> like the gif I was on just sent. <laughs> and, uh, basically... Stop talking about so, other things! So, so, okay, I'm sorry! I, I get distracted easily! So Timmy's oh, like... My camera. Timmy's like, boom, I'm now going to Freddy's. Cause, or, like, a restaurant, because there's, like, someplace really nearby. And, basically, the stalker from before finds Sylvie. And he's like, listen, I can help your kid. My name's Michael Afton, and she's like, okay. Uh, Mike. Just, just Mike. Mike. Yeah, but just Mike. it's it's Mike. But come on, it's Michael. We Afton. all know it's Mike. Yeah, it's, it's Mike, Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt is Mike Afton, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Anyway, so they go to Freddy's, and she's like, "What's going on?" And he's like, "Listen, that mask you bought, it was the real thing. It had something inside of it, something that's now in your son." <laughs> yeah. okay. so ridiculous. You really could have phrased that better. <laughs> anyway, so they, they, they why did we let Psychic do this? Uh, anyway, oh, I wish Inky was here. <laughs> we wish Inky was. Wish you were here, Heart. Anyway, um, so they they get to Freddy's and he's on stage with the robots and so it was like, oh no, my child, come back to me. And, she, and like Mike, like, and they like they like approach, and Timmy's like, "Oh, you're approaching me. I'm gonna send out the puppet." And suddenly, the puppet appears. This is actually what happens. I'm not making shit up. This actually happens. It sounds so fake, but it's what happens. The puppet awesome. appears and uses its tentacles to attack Mike and Sylvie. And this does this happen? I guess this means it's happened before she did Wraith. Um, and Mike's like. Halt! Halt, puppet! Uh, the, and they take the mask off Timmy, they put it back on, like, Freddy, and then Timmy's back to normal, and they go home. And Mike's like, yeah, the your son was basically possessed. The end. Have a nice life! Okay. First, <laughs> first thing I'd like to point out is the mother is called Sylvia. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> uh... But also, this story has a lot of connections. Am I right, underscore? Yeah, there's a few things I'd like to point out, too. Can I? Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Sweet. One, like we're on a podcast definitely, de definitely the thing in the mask was um, uh, was Gabriel's soul. Oh, yeah. I'm also an idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's also been this shadow creature that's been haunting Timmy. So, one, Gabriel's soul was in the mask. Two, someone stole... Um, the mask from Freddy's, which Mike seems to have been patrolling a lot, yes. kind of keeping watch the animatronics. Three, this had to have been before uh, William broke in and dismantled all the animatronics, because they're still in one piece. So somewhere before... Correct. Somewhere before 1995, but after 1993. Except this story is not canon. It's just the aspects of it. And... What was the fourth one? Shadow... Shadow Freddy. Well, also, Larson goes back to the to Timmy's room in his uh, in his vision or whatever. Are we absolutely one hundred percent certain that's Timmy's room? No, we are sure. not. 
I swear it's similar, but like we cannot validate that it's actually the same room. Actually, you know what? We probably can because like he only went to locations in the Fazbear Fright stories. So if we just cross-reference all the other bedrooms, see if no, anyone... there's some places in his flashbacks that have no connection to any Fazbear Fright stories. Really? I what? disagree. Okay, one of the places Larson visits is a child's bedroom with a Freddy's poster. A Let's talk about everywhere and he an visits. Aluminium bat. Welcome everybody to Dark Rooms Debates, where Underscore and Ozone go head to head in their uh, petty bickering. Three, two, one, go. No. Well, okay, but so you're also, saying. But, but also, the puppet appears in the story, right? And we haven't yeah. seen the puppet anywhere else in Fast and Fright, apart from the Sit Race Singers. I, I actually want to go over for a second all of the places that Larson kills Eleanor in the flashbacks. Do you know them all? No. <laughs> That's the problem, because I swear there's some others that don't have connections to... Okay, we, we can talk about that if we have time. Alright, um, alright. But I get so... that the Freddy Fazbear poster, the aluminum... The, yeah. the bat, um... Is, Aluminum. is... Whatever. Is definitely like you're the band's uh, room. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, yeah. I think that. But... I mean, that's what it says on the wiki. <laughs> In the final uh, Stinger Larson's visits, many places, callbacks, yeah. child's the, bedroom. The other the thing I will say room. is, uh, Timmy actually sees the bodies from Into the Pit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Which is so, uh, I'm looking it up right now. Uh, Larson fights Eleanor at the junkyard, where uh, Sarah found him. Um... It seems like um, the the next one is at is the garage where Funtime Freddy was with Millie in Count the Ways because the garage. That's the one I've, I've been. That's the one I've been mixed up on. But it's like a garage full of knickknacks it's a, and winter clothes and decorations, which uh, both apply to that story because like you learn Christmas. that. Okay. The grandpa's. I agree. Uh, grandpa's that's what I've never been aware of. A collector. He's a collector. And it was also the only one. One of the only the only one I can remember that's near Christmas time. Wait. Psycho, can you share this page? Uh, sure. That's that's the one story I've been really mixed on. Like, or not story. I mean that one where it's the garage. I never connected that to count the ways. Uh, count the ways. So I need to fix that now. But yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, okay. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Uh, Larson ends up a kid's bedroom with a kid's bedroom with a race car decorations and a Freddy Fazbear poster on the wall. Does okay. this is the one? This is the one we're talking about. Does this Timmy this matches a race car mm -hmm. bed? It says very similar. I don't know if we know what he has. Uh, let me look it up. All right. Um, and uh, then ends, I up, think... ends up in a warehouse with an old mattress and some sleeping bags. Dance with me. Dance with me, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, to do, you keep talking while I keep looking for any more. Also, there was um, there was To Be Beautiful. Yeah. The, okay. It was the, just those um, four locations. Dump. It was just those four locations that he attacks. Did you mention to be beautiful? Uh, yeah, the junkyard. Yes. Okay, okay so but wasn't there support. also the place in Dance with Me with all of the sleeping? Well, he said Dance with Me. Yeah. Oh, sorry. He said it. Um. Okay, hmm. that makes things a bit more interesting. I think one of the big reasons that we said, or at least some of the people I've been with that came to the conclusion of why this couldn't be canon. It was something about 30 years, and also something about Mike, but I can't remember exactly what. Could it be like, uh, could it be like Freddy? Oh, I, this no, is... this is what I said, this is what I said, okay. So, basically, uh, damn it, I've forgotten it. Gosh, dang it! The, the, the Into the Pit incidents happen in 1985, correct? Correct. Yes. Okay, and we are, oh, and in, in this story, it says that this is like 30 years after the killings that puts it in 2015 but but the animatronics aren't aren't destroyed yet and mike is they should the yeah the problem is they should be destroyed by now and this shouldn't be freddy's this should be jeff's pizza if it's there was something else are we sure it's the same are we sure it's the same location Yes. Uh, it's yes, where f it is. five to six children died. It's Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, the main one. There's oh, no other Freddy's. That's what the issue was. 
Mm -hmm. uh, oh no, uh, that's the issue. I I remember it. I remember it. Okay. What? So, let's let's go through this together. Okay. okay. So, okay, 1985, the murders happen. Mm -hmm. Thirty years later, let's go to uh freaking 2015. Uh, you're the band. Mm -hmm. So in you're the band, we see a pizzeria which is still like open, I guess, with the, the animatronics. The, the puppet and Mike, mm -hmm. right? But in Into the Pit, we're 30 years later, from 1985, and that location is Jeff's Pizza. That's exactly what I just said. What if huh? the spirit isn't Gabriel and just lost. a different kid? No, Ozon, you're right. Everything you just said is correct. That is the problem. Yes. That's why. That's why this story doesn't fit. There's also yes. is that, that could, sure... is that just why it's scrapped? Like it could be like uh, this was a good story, however, it didn't fit with the timeline we already previously started. That's why. That's oh, why I... I think this story would fit way better if it was like 1994. You know what I mean? 1993, four or five. This fits perfectly. Otherwise, it doesn't. That's, it just yeah, has to be why. before William's death in '95. I think I'm gonna asking this, but. William dies in 1995. Okay, I know this to be true. I just really forget why it's true. <laughs> um, yeah, he dies in 95 in, um, okay. I, I know this little speck of information, but I don't Sergio's remember what lucky else. Day? Is it Sergio's lucky day? It might be something to do with that. I know he dies in 1995 in the trilogy. That's when the events of the trilogy happen, 95. Ten years after the um, the murders, 85. Okay. And I'm pretty okay, sure yeah. that carries over to the games somehow. I don't remember exactly. But William dies two years after FNAF 1 closes. I mean, that makes okay, sense. Okay, so the animatronics are dismantled. In 93, 94. Yeah, which is impossible if they're still together in 2015. Which makes a lot of sense. Unless they were rebuilt. So then, do Why we would think, they be rebuilt? Do we think... Uh, I mean, Fred Fazbear Entertainment when... could wanna, might want to reopen, so they're like, okay, you're the destroyed animatronics, let me rebuild them. What were we going to so say, Ozone? Afton got springlocked, and then nobody could find him for all of these years. But well, I, I, I thought they, I thought they like knew where he was, but they just like locked him up in like the room, in the safe room. They were just like, we're just gonna. I thought, we'll I thought nobody it. had like looked in the safe room for like there 30 is, years. There is a small chance that the safe room, when they found him in 2023, it was either boarded up or no. I'm pretty sure it was just left alone. It wasn't boarded up or anything. Uh, here's here's a piece of evidence to say that they didn't know where he was. The story in which they move Springtrap into Fazbear's fright is called "What We Found." Mm -hmm. Well, I I think I th I thought I thought maybe like I thought like the the phone calls implied somebody at Fazbear Entertainment knew and sealed well, him up in the room. No, there was they just got in a hold of a person who worked on the buildings, and that person knew that there was a secret room. They didn't know he was in there. They just knew the room existed. And they sealed also, it up. Also, consider this. Actually, nobody sealed up the room until Jeff's Pizza became a thing. Consider that Springtrap is in the walls of Jeff's Pizza. Makes sense with Spring Bonnie, the the costume. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I mean, I mean Springtrap. Story. Like William is dead in the walls of Jeff's Pizza. It's twenty fifteen. Uh, yeah, possible. That's weird. But um, is that weird? Could it just be that somebody sold like like they they had the Freddy mask? So could it just be that they were dismantled and put back together? But like, oh no, we left a mask somewhere. The Freddy well, mask. I'm I'm pretty sure the story implies Michael has been monitoring the pizzeria in a way. That's how he knew the mask went missing. Somehow, I I swear something like he's been watching the place. He's been keeping it safe. That's possible, and it makes sense from Mike's perspective, like from Mike's story perspective. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he, let me let me look. I wonder what Inky thinks of the story. I wonder when he's gonna get. Yeah, he, he explains that he is a security guard for the old Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and that he suspects the mask Sylvia ordered was the head of the Freddy anim animatronic that was stolen a few weeks ago. Hmm. So he know it went. So missing. who stole the Freddy mask? 
We don't know. Some rando thief that just got in, took Someone the Freddy head, retro and sold merch it. With, ease, with threes instead of E's because they're cool. Retro merch, yeah. I'm going to change my name to Ozone with a three. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, okay. <laughs> For a second, I was like, where does the three go? <laughs> <laughs> where does the three go? To be honest, that makes sense because ozone is just three oxygen. Oh my and gosh, oh, shut up. Sorry, just, uh, I'm a freaking nerd. <laughs> anyway, um, and I so, try. Uh, what's up? I was just say, and then, like, there was no epilogue in this book. Yeah. Not surprising, though, because it, it would have been nice to see something that was like. A, a kind of a little closing for this to trade, but we already got that, really, yeah. so. Yeah. I mean, like, an epilogue to the epilogue would be just funny. The, the final point I had to say about um, why you're the band can't be canon is because Mike is described as being way too young. Like, 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 yeah. teenager to early 20s, maybe? Way too young for how old he actually I is. I do think if this is in 2015, this definitely is not canon. It can't be. It, like It this, can't be in any way. It works almost perfectly if it's anywhere from 1993 to 95 before William breaks in, but otherwise it, it doesn't fit. And I think that's its crucial error. That's maybe why it was scrapped. Could it just be that they put the wrong date in? <laughs> that, well, it's scrapped, so... But that's why it's, some it's of the... It's scrapped an entire story because they <laughs> misput a date. <laughs> That's why some of the concepts from this are so important, because it works if you just shift the year. It's got Shadow Freddy luring things. It's got the puppet in the ceiling. It's got a lot of aspects that really work. Um, food for thought. Midnight Motorist parallel? Because they... Cause they're a kid they, out the window? jump out the, win the window or whatever, and there's a Shadow Freddy that takes a child. I don't think that Shadow Freddy is at the Midnight Motorist window anymore. <gasps> dun dun dun! <laughs> we both did the same thing. Yeah, we both did the same idea. <laughs> but I really shouldn't get into that one right now, should I? No, you can get into it. <laughs> what if I said I was making a video on it? You're making a video? Uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're making? <laughs> I mean, you've got loads of time on your hands without a girlfriend now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said I'm, summer. I'm sorry. You could have said summer, <laughs> but no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't mean it. I hope you're okay. I am stone cold and fine. <laughs> you and your apples. Yes, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Go check out my Instagram. <laughs> And go check out the Dark Rooms Reddit. Yeah, there is a reason that you need to see my Instagram if you like green apple content. Green apple content. <laughs> you know, we just become uh, the Green Apple Podcast. Just, just start oh, reviewing oh, apples. It's my branding. It's underscore Steve lore. You, like. you cannot take the green apple. Fine. fine. I'll take the freaking yellow apples because those are better. Do it. Those are not better. They are worse. They are so much worse. No, they are it's not. Like, this is like Adam and Eve reproduced. <laughs> Uh, underscore lore time. All right. <laughs> and yeah, any final thoughts on Felix the Shark as a book? Absolutely not. It's pretty fun if you. I don't like Felix the Shark the story actually that much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, personally, I think the book as a whole is pretty good. It's not the worst book, not the yeah. best. Yeah. But it has one of the best stories, I think. You're the band. Yeah. 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 And I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing a ranking video soon, I think. Nice. In fact, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and record that tomorrow. That's cool. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna rank all the Fast but Fright stories again. <laughs> again. Well underscore again. just absolutely just like destroys his camera. <laughs> I'll join you. I'll rank him. That'd be fun. Uh, Actually, I think I'm... we should do a, I think we should do either a Dark Rooms episode or a separate video where we all Kind of rank together. We could do a Dark Rooms I, episode where we, where, actually, we, where we come like as a, like, come together and make a consensus. Um, there's still some list. stories I've never read, which I is, don't think we'll be able to make a consensus. I mean, yeah. we can, we can okay. compromise. So it's like if like if like three I of hate us coming can... home. <laughs> okay, uh, and then we can hate coming home. Yeah, he hates coming home. Well, I don't. I do not hate. He told me everything. <laughs> me neither. Oh yeah, yeah. That's. I love it. I, that's it's one of the issue. best stories. 
Well, Inky hates it. <laughs> we, we we just like put it in S. We just like put it in S here just uh, to annoy Inky. I think there's no wishes. story. There's no story that we all hate. Is there? Yeah, they're all pretty. They're either mid, but we don't hate them. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're just mid. Yeah. Yeah. There's Some no of them just like aren't our hate. favorites, but we still like them all. Yeah, you don't hate yeah. one because they don't do anything wrong. Yeah. Except for Inky. Inky hates. He told me everything. He's, he's insane. I love it. Oh I hope that gosh. we can really enjoy Tales from the Pizza Plex. Because yeah. some of those stories should be really cool. Uh, who's ready for another 12 book saga? Um, You know that uh, Lally's game isn't the first story, right? Yeah, which I kind of predicted in that one Dark Rooms episode where we talked about it. So, just saying, I'm pretty it's, awesome. Um, it's going to be frailty, and I'm really excited for frailty. Uh, apparently... Like, Made we're gonna get a excited. preview and it's gonna have something it's, big in it the preview is usually i don't know how many pages but apparently there's massive lore bombs seven pages into frailty yeah wahoo and we'll, we should be getting the preview <laughs> soon like very soon yeah and i'm fine if we talk I'm about so excited. i'm fine if we talk about the preview on dark rooms early since like everyone okay. will have it's, the access it's to a it. live preview yeah what does that mean we should What's a life for huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> did you just have a stroke? I think you had a stroke. No, I did not. I'm fine. With your apples. I eat apples. <laughs> yeah, with your Take apples. that nerd. <laughs> oh, All right. Anyway, I think, I think maybe we've, we've, we've just like. <laughs> just... <laughs> We've gone quiet. <laughs> oh my goodness, please. And that end probably my means that it's time to end the episode. Yes. Well, uh, I hope that you all enjoyed, all you girls and boys. Uh, thank you for coming and listening to another episode of the Darkness Podcast. Or if this is your first, make sure that you subscribe to the podcast for this, more. If this is their first, uh, I next, feel very bad. Yeah. Next, mm-hmm. next week, next week is our anniversary episode. June fifth, absolutely crazy. It's might... kind of funny that we're talking about this now because we've already recorded it. I might uh, <laughs> make that one a premiere because it's special. Oh, that'd Don't know. Be cool. Oh, maybe. Uh, we'll talk about it. But yeah, underscore is dead now. I am going to bed now, and Psychic is Editing. changing their channel to a red theme. To a what? Rhymes. Red. You're you're going red. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's end alright thank you so much for watching and we're gonna see you guys next time bye <laughs> bye bye what you laughing at <laughs> don't worry about it